What you see here is no ordinary Flappy Bird, because this is Flappy. Now you may be wondering, what makes Flappy so special? Well, Flappy is an intelligent creature that uses neural networks and behavioral psychology algorithms to power his intelligent behaviors. And I'm going to teach you how to make him. Alright, so once you click the link in the description, you'll be sent to this Google Colab page. Now, if you don't know what Google Colab is, it's really just a website that allows you to build machine learning models without having to download a single thing on your computer. Now, the first thing I want you to do is go to the Runtime tab on the top here, and then go to Change Runtime Type. And make sure you're on GPU because this gives you access to a free GPU on this virtual machine. And GPUs are perfect for training neural networks. So let's just make sure we click Save, and then head on over to the first code block. Now, we can run this first code block by pressing Shift and Enter, or going to Runtime and then doing Run Selection. And you'll notice that in this code block, we are Git cloning this repository, and this repository pretty well just holds the code for the Flappy Bird game. And then the next line of code, we are just pip installing some reinforcement learning packages, okay? So once this is done, head on over to this folder icon on the left-hand side and press it. Now, once you open it, you'll notice that this is the current folder or directory that we're working in. And so open up this Flappy Bird Gym and you'll notice that we have this Flappy underscore bird underscore gym. So let's just drag and drop this because this is where all the Python code exists. And then this models folder, let's also drag and drop this and just close this one. And yeah, so this is where all the Python code exists. And this models folder is where the pre-trained neural networks are. So if you want to play with the pre-trained or the already trained neural networks, this is where they are, okay? So let's close this and let's head on over to the second code block. Now in the second code block, we are importing that flappy bird underscore package that we just uh, moved into this folder um, and that's what we're importing here and then what we do is we set the game into this variable called env so whenever we want to call the flappy bird game we just call this variable env because this is what's set equal to our flappy bird game okay so now we're ready to go to the next part where we build the neural network now the million dollar question is what is a neural network now you can think of a neural network as a sort of black box. Now this black box has a superpower. You may be wondering, what is that superpower? Well, the superpower is being able to detect patterns in large amounts of data. Now once we build a neural network that can understand these patterns, we can use it to predict unforeseen data. The way Flappy's neural network works is that it processes the game frame by frame. Now in each frame, we take two numbers from the game, the first being the horizontal distance to the next pipe, and the second being the difference between Flappy's Y position and the next hole's Y position. And what we do with these two numbers is we process it through the neural network and we output a specific action based off those two numbers. So what Flappy is really learning is to associate two numbers with a specific action, similar to a human being. All right, so let's start building out our neural network. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to go into this code lock here and then create a function called build model. And this function will take in two parameters, first one being the observation, which we'll call obs, and the actions. And so we're going to be basing our entire neural network architecture based off these two variables here. So the first thing we need to do is initialize our model. And we can do so by doing model equals sequential. And let's just close this out. Model equals sequential, which is just saying, hey, we're gonna have a sequence of layers and 99% of neural networks use a sequential architecture. Now let's add the first layer of our model. Now the first layer of our model is the most important layer because this is what matches your data. And so the way we need to process in the data is by making sure our input layer matches the size of the data. So we can do model.add, and in this case, we're going to add a dense layer, and I'll explain it after this. Um, we're going to have 64 output neurons and an activation equal to ReLU. 
And then following this, we will have an input shape equal to one by ops, okay? And so this is how we're going to accept our observation space. Now for the dense layer, you can think of it as a computational layer. So this is what carries out our black box operations and finds the best set of weights for our neural network. And weights is really um, the value that we're trying to optimize in our neural network. So yeah, so it's just a computational layer and the more dense layers you have, the more complex patterns your neural network can understand. And so this is really the building block to um, building powerful neural networks. So the next layer that we're going to add is a flatten layer. And this just squishes this output layer into one dimension. And so by squishing it into one dimension, we can pass it into our final layer, which will be actions with an activation equal to linear. And so once this is done, let's print out the model.summary and let's return the model. So this is good. Um, and let's head on over to this next code block. And you'll notice that we have this variable obs and actions. Now, the good thing about the um, game here is that it inherits from this gym class here. Now, if you don't know what that means, don't worry. It's just programming mumbo jumbo. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it inherits this gym class. And by inheriting that, um, we have the observation space and the action space available to us. So it's just a matter of extracting it. And so now we have these two variables. And if we check the obs, you'll notice that it's two and the actions is also two. So that's good because that's what matches our game. So now let's build our neural network. So we can do model equals build model, oops, build model. And let's pass in our obs and our actions. Now, when we run this, we should print out the model.summary and beautiful. So as you can see, um, we have our very basic neural network and we only have 322 total parameters. And so the question becomes, can we learn Flappy Bird and 322 params? And the answer is no. So let's add more layers to increase what our model can learn. So let's just add or just stack some more dense layers. So let's do dense. This one with 128 output neurons, activation, ReLU. And then we can just copy this after this, paste, paste, change this to 256, this one 64, and then rerun that. And then boom, 58,114 um, total parameters. And so the question again, can we learn Flappy Bird? And the answer is yes. So let's head on over to the next section where we start implementing the reinforcement learning stuff. All right, now that we built the neural network, we're ready to integrate the reinforcement learning algorithm into our neural network. Now for the reinforcement learning, we are using a package called Keras RL2, which allows us to build reinforcement learning algorithms very easily. So we can get state of the art behaviors with just a couple lines of code. Um, so let's head down to this import code block and let's just make sure we import all of these packages and then let's da head down to our function build agent. Now what I want you to pay attention to are these three variables here. Now the first one is the policy. Now you can think of the policy as the behavior algorithm that the model will follow and this whole line of code I can make a whole video on it. Um, so I just briefly explained it in this paragraph here um, and these variables these parameters here that you pass in do have impact on how the model will behave. So do take a look at that. Um, next, we have the memory variable, and you can think of this as the data set that the model will learn off of. So we're pretty well just adding or appending every single frame into this memory variable and then training the model off this data set. Next, we have this DQN variable, and you can think of this as the reinforcement learning algorithm that we're using. So DQN is the RL algorithm, okay? Now, this is where everything comes together. So we pass in the neural network, we pass in the memory, which is our data set, we pass in the policy, which is our behavior algorithm, we enable dueling network and we set it to average, which is just a technique used in reinforcement learning to increase accuracy. We pass in our actions and then we pass in this warm up steps. Now the warm up steps is just our model collecting 10,000 steps or 10,000 frames of data before we start training it. Okay, so it's just like a warm up stage before training. So let's run this code block and you'll notice that we get this type error. 
Now, this is a bit of a cryptic error and it has to do with the memory of the model. So we, to fix this, we can go to this bug code block and just do delete model and then rebuild our model and that will take care of that bug. So we'll do build model, pass in obs and actions and now run that and then run the one below and it works. Okay, so now we're ready to start training the model. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna write two commands down and then I'll speed it up and I'll see you once it's done. All right, so here um, we compile our DQN model and compiling it is really just putting it all together and making sure everything's set up. And then we pass in this Atom optimizer and Atom is really gradient descent and gradient descent is the algorithm that allows machines to learn. Um, so it's not too important to know, but if you want to learn more about it, look up gradient descent. And then this is how fast our model will learn. And then following that, we have this fit. And fitting is training, okay? So what we're doing is we're passing, our, passing in our game. We are passing in the amount of steps that we want to train it for. So we're training it for 5 million here. We set visualize equal to false. Now, if you had this code on your local computer, you can set this to true and you can visualize your model as it's training. But since we're on a virtual machine, we don't have a display to show it to, um, but we have this code block here that allows us to uh, visualize it. And then we set verbose equal to one. Now you can set it to two to get more information. Let's actually do that. And then let's run this code block. Now you'll notice that we are starting to train it. And so now what it's, what's going on is our Flappy Bird is playing the game and it's learning how to play Flappy Bird. Now the values I want you to pay attention to are the episode reward. Um, so that tells you how well our model is doing. And then the mean reward is just a follow up on that one. So um, we want these values to go up to 500, 600, even 2000, okay? And then finally, um, it, for the epsilon that I mentioned above, this is where it is, okay? And then, yeah, so now our model is training. That's awesome. Now I'm gonna stop it, um, but feel free to just continue and let it train it. Um, and you can visualize it in this code block here. Um, but there is two things I wanna go over. It's saving your weights and loading your weights. Now this is how you save your weights. This is how you load your weights. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, but let's load the weights for this pre-trained model that I had in the GitHub repository. So we'll load these weights. And then in this visualizing Google Colab code block, the one I want, the variable that's the most important is this NB episodes. So you can set this to two if you wanna train for two episodes, but for now, let's just do one episode and let's run that. It's gonna take a couple seconds. Um, so I'll see you once it's done. Awesome, so now the video's done and it's ready. Um, and you can see that we got a reward of 1340, which is really good. Um, and this is the neural network. Now you can keep training this one. Um, it is worth mentioning that this is based off the architecture that we built here. Um, so just make sure the architecture is the same for the pre-trained models, but feel free to change it up, add more layers, um, change the output neurons and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so here you built a very powerful reinforcement learning algorithm that uses the same technology as self-driving technology and just the state of the art of technology right here, okay? So congratulations. Now, if you wanna learn more or you just wanna support me, check out the link in the description. I teach you how to build eight AI agents that do things like playing Mario, trading the stock market, driving, and just so much more. And if you just wanna learn more about this sort of stuff, check it out and I'll see you in the next video.